Hello and welcome back to Sammy B Reads. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than the other like four I've put up. It's going to be the new you booktube tag and it is a tag I have it pulled up on my phone by Brenda C. Apparently her channel's private. It says the brackets here but I took some questions. I haven't really read through them too much because um, I kind of wanted to be surprised and my reaction be somewhat genuine for today. So let's get started on the first question. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? And honestly, I have been creeping for a while. I started like reading daily, I would say in January. Um, and then I started naturally reading Akatar, like most people did, and I fell into fa fan art, which got me into Bookstagram, and I was silently creeping Bookstagram. I didn't want to make a Bookstagram account. I actually just did last week, so I'll link my Bookstagram account down below, but I then from Bookstagram found BookTube, and I saw these people talking about books, and I had a lot to say about books. I have a lot to say about books, so I thought it would be a good thing for me to put some time into. I needed something to help get through the rest of COVID so I don't turn into a psychopath. So this is a good way for me to focus energy on something other than just my job, um, but also doing something that I've been doing for a very, since I was a little girl, reading. Number two is what is some, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to YouTube? And for that, I honestly just love smut and romance. I don't know if that makes me unique. I think a lot of readers do like that. But being in my late 20s, I'm going to be in my late 20s, I would say as of October, I want to be able to bring that plus my personality in here. I think everyone's so different and has different opinions, and different things they like that maybe someone will like my book recommendations. Like I watch other people. I watch Peace Love Book. She was the first one. Number three is what are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, I'm just excited to meet some people, talk to people that like the same books as me, um, get some more recommendations. Like I've already through all these channels, BookTube, Bookstagram, gotten so many new authors on my list. And I have a TBR, which I use never a person that used to have a TPR. If I liked a series, I would just read it and then I wouldn't read for a couple months. I'd find a new series. So like this is all new the TBR is all new to me. So having like on my Goodreads over a hundred books of, that I want to read um, recommended by other people is like amazing to me. It means that I'll always have something to read every night and I'm really excited for that. Number four is what do I love reading? I love romance. Um, story time when I was a little girl, my mom always used to read um, the Harlequin novels. She loves Nora Roberts, Daniel Steele. She used to always read when I was a kid, um, she'd always be sitting there reading. It was her outlet. So I kind of got that love of romance through her. Obviously, I don't see my mom picking up The Speed of Oblivion or any books like those that I've read, but it's similar to what she likes. Um, I love romance. I'm not big on fantasy, but if a fantasy has enough romance, I like it. I've gotten some fantasy thrillers that I've liked. Um, I love a self good self-help book. They are very entertaining. Like, Girl, Wash Your Face. I know she's so controversial, but the book was interesting to read. Number five is which series got you into reading. So throughout my life, I've gone through stages of reading. So I would say when I was in my teenage years, what series got me back in into reading would be the Meg Cabot Prince Diary series. I really like those. And then when I was in high school, I would say um, Beautiful Disaster by um, Jamie McGuire got me back into reading. And then when I fell out of it again, and now in my um, mid to late 20s, um, Accord Of got me into reading again, which is odd because it was fantasy and it was actually recommended to me and I didn't think I would like it and I ended up loving it. And then from Akatar, I got in back into my niche, which is romance. Or, Six is what questions would I ask my favorite YouTubers, booktubers? Um, questions I have is more, how do you come up with ideas? Do you ever get stressed with feeling like you have to upload on time? Like, do I have to upload every other day? Um, Cause I'm just doing it cause I enjoy when I have a second to sit down and film. I also like talking about the books I do, but I'm just wondering if they, as you get bigger, the more pressures that come with it, what their feelings are and any helpful advice on how to not be controversial, say the right thing. Cause I'm always scared I want to say the wrong thing. Number seven is what challenges do you think starting a book channel will be the hardest to overcome? 
mine will be just getting comfortable with the camera um speaking in a tactful voice pronunciating my words a lot better um i realized through editing that i speak very fast and sometimes jumbled up so i don't know how my friends have ever heard what i ever had to say before so speaking more slower working on my pronunciations when i was a kid i actually had a speech impair speech impediment um and i just need to be a little bit more aware of that and focus in on it so people can actually understand what I'm trying to get across. Question number eight is when did you start reading and I kind of touched on this earlier on in the earlier questions is I started reading oh my gosh my mom probably when I was a kid my mom bought me all the rubber munch books my mom's a huge reader she loves her um cheesy romantic um, book so she loves the Nora Roberts, Daniel Steele, um, are the Har Harlequin, Harlequin? novels is like little white ones of red writing on them she loves those um when i was a kid she used to go to value village it's um like a thrift shop in canada and she would buy all her books there because it was cheaper for her to buy in mass quantities like kindle was not a big thing as it is now and she still doesn't like it um i finally got her hooked up to my library card so she can read the ebooks off my library card so she's really enjoying that because now she lives in the middle of nowhere she's not close to um value village however when she was done with her book she, she read so many books she would keep her favorites and like i don't know if you can see it there there <laughs> look at those again that white dresser right here it used to be hers and she used to fill it with all her books now i have it filled with towels and that um but all her favorite books right here and then she would go to my grandmother's um old age home and donate the rest of the books for the old woman and it was something she was always doing the woman would get so excited when she would come with bags of these like romance novels and i remember that as a kid the next question is where do i read um it depends i love my couch um i'll put on like some cheesy um my couch is right there sorry <laughs> i'll put on some cheesy um movies or reality tv and read i read in bed i read in my bed before I go to bed every night. Um, and then when I drive to work, I listen to Audible. So a few different places. Um, I can't listen to eBooks unless I'm doing something like cleaning, going for a walk, which I need to do more of before it gets winter here, um, or driving to work. Those are the only times I can really listen to a book. I'm not one that can just sit there and listen and stare off into space. I have to be doing something. And number 10 is why do I love reading? I love reading because it's a good way to turn off my brain that's going about a thousand miles a minute. I love feeling, I love love. I love people being in love. I love hearing people's stories. And I think with that, it helps you feel less hopeless in the world. Um, I really enjoy everything that comes with reading. I love, build, with fantasy, it's like building a whole world up of like all these magical things that you never done with with romance it can be so heartbreaking and help you get through something that maybe you went through or you know someone that went through it helps you understand different cultures some people especially with the romance the way it's going and is in the industry right now there's so many different cultures that we're learning about so that is my newbie <laughs> booktube tag video um please like and comment down below um any questions any conversations i am currently in spooky season mode um hollow mess as i mentioned in my last video is my favorite thing if you have any recommendations for some romantic um like thrillers i really would like to it or some stephen king um i'm not a huge stephen king fan well i shouldn't say i'm not a huge fan. i'm very intimidated by stephen king so if anyone has some good stephen king first read books to send to me i would love to maybe download an, as my next audible book for the month of september and october um thank you so much for watching um starting this has been very scary for me i don't want like my world to know that I do this but I also am so humble that the community especially um bookstagram has been so nice to me I didn't expect it to go that far so I hope I can continue even if like I said just five people watch this it's more than enough for me um and I'm so grateful so thank you so much for listening to me ramble on and on in this video I'll see you next time